Hey Reapers, welcome to another theory video. Now, this theory video won't really be all me. This theory video is actually going to be a, com a compilation of a ton of your guys' theories, and I have picked a few that I really, really like, and I want to share with the rest of you guys. So, the first one we're going to be talking about is No Socks On Theory, and they commented this on one of my videos. Most of these theories were commented on my videos, and I've gone through. I do read all of the comments, so I love reading your guys' comments, and I find these, and I really do like them, so this video is dedicated to those. So this first theory is by No Socks On. They said, I really do believe it's just the simulation, because at the end of the end event, the light flickered off, kind of like an old TV would turn off. Now this is very true, I never really noticed this, and I didn't really see anybody else notice this. I'm gonna play it for you guys right now, it might already be playing, but as you can see here guys, the light really does just kind of flicker off, just like an old TV would. So this is the simulation closing down for the new chapter, with the new simulation that, they're, that the creators of this Fortnite simulation are making. So I think that's a really good theory, and I really do like that evidence that they gave us. So thank you, shout out to you. This next theory is by Gotcha Christian and Fortnite. They said, yo, you should make a theory video on Eternal Night and Sky. Are they the same person? What happened to Sky if she's not the Eternal Night? But it's up to you how you do it. So basically, I asked for proof, and this is what they provided for proof. So I'm going to read this to you guys. Here we go. Actually, yes, I do. Although to some, it doesn't make much sense, but it might to you. So first, on Sky's backlink, she had a night shield with a tree on it, but the shield links in with the night part. Second, the story of Chapter 2 Season 3 is supposedly taking place around one year after Doomsday, so that would mean Sky is somewhat older than in Chapter 2 Season 2, so that might explain the slight height difference between the two skins. Third, again, with the backlink shield thing, Sky was an adventurer, and if the shield is anything to go off of, then maybe she was hinting at becoming a knight back in Chapter 2 Season 2, Plus, her swords were another hint in a way because knights are well trained with swords, so in order for Sky to become a knight, she would need a lot of training, which she already had. Fourth, when you look at Eternal Knight in the sky, the major difference is where is Ollie slash her hat, and my theory is Ollie guided Sky enough where she was ready to move along with her life without Ollie guiding her. So Ollie left, plus when you look at Eternal Knight on the Battle Pass screen, she looks in a way kind of sad, like she lost someone who she knew for a long time. I don't know if that's enough proof or not, but that's what I've got for now. So I agree with all of this other than this, her looking sad, I think that's just her night pose. I think that's just her night pose, but I mean, what do you guys think? I think that's some pretty good evidence right there. We got the swords on her backling. I'll show you guys the back one. I probably already put it up on screen. Let me find it for you guys. Alright, this is the back lane, guys. Let me turn off the gold part. So as you can see, we have that little shield right there, and we also have this massive sword. Uh, so I think this could either be an adventure kind of vibe going on right now, or it could kind of hint at the fact maybe she's Eternal Knight. I do think this theory is pretty, pretty interesting, because Eternal Knight is kind of a random knight skin, since we don't have any other female knight skins other than Red Knight. And all of a sudden we just get this one. So I'm thinking maybe maybe Gotcha's right. So thank you for the theory, Gotcha. I really do like this theory. Thank you for sharing. The next theory that we're gonna be talking about is from JJ on Siona the Space Theory video. I feel like we'll go back I feel like we will go back to Agent Jones's office and a few more people will be in a room discussing about the chapter two map simulation. It's too sentient and it is too dangerous to keep using, so they agree to go back to the old map simulation. I think this would be a really good way to tie in the old map coming back, especially because maybe the this new map is too dangerous now that Marauders are here, and I think things will definitely start escalating in the coming seasons on this map, and it will eventually become as crazy as Season X of Chapter 1. So JJ, this is a really good theory, and I also thought this was pretty cool. I do think we'll go back to Agent Jonesy's office, and I think that JJ brings up a pretty interesting concept of there being more people there talking, or maybe we're being interrogated by Agent Jonesy in the next live event. Maybe this time we'll return, but Agent Jonesy will be sitting there talking to us with other people surrounding them, or maybe the next cutscene, they're gonna leave the room and they're gonna be like talking, I think this is too dangerous, we don't know, what, I don't know, stuff like that. We might have to go back to the old simulation kind of thing. Um, JJ, thank you for the theory. I strongly agree with this one, and I think it's very likely, especially since Agent Jonesy's office is going to be a major part of the story because we've never seen it before, its graphics were a lot different, and it just altogether looked like the real world. 
So thank you for this, JJ. Thank you, JJ. Gotcha. No socks on. Thank all. Thank you all three of you for sharing your theories. And a lot more of you have shared your theories. Keep sharing them, guys. I promise I'll make more of these. I really do like reading your theories. And there's a lot more I'm going to be making. Now, I'm not done yet. There are a few more theories that I have. Now, these ones aren't from my videos. There are a few more theories I have to share. So this one is by Polly on Twitter. All right. Now, this really, really, really backs up my Blossom theory, guys. So, they said, those ruins are right where the big whirlpool is. It's sucking in a lot of water. For something to bloom, a lot of water is required. So, this would really back up the Blossom theory. There could be... So, they're, they're, they're talking about the Ruin POI. That's the code name in the files for that giant hole down there. The ruins. They're talking about that place. So I think this is a really, really good idea, and I strongly, strongly agree with this one. Because, the, you know, they're right. For a flower to bloom, it needs a lot of water. And I was going to make a video a while back, like, where's the water going? Where I feel like someplace it's sucking up all the water. But uh, Polly, uh, Polly on Twitter, Polly, I, I don't know how to pronounce that one, I'm sorry. Polly or Polly, I'm going to go with Polly. Uh, Polly beat me to it. That's a really really good theory I definitely think that the blossom is sucking up this water and it will eventually grow and I do think it will be bigger than the backlink shows I think it will be a pretty massive flower About the size of the zero point orb I think that this will be the new zero point like I said in my old videos So it would make sense if it was the same size and it had all of this water So I think that that place down there won't be Atlantis guys. I've told you this before that place is not going to be Atlantis. That's going to be the flower site. Um, and the Grotto Cave will be Aquaman's POI. So I guess I guess either tomorrow... Well, I'm recording this... I'm recording this right before Aquaman's... Aquaman comes out and Aquaman's tried it and stuff. I'm recording this 17 hours before that stuff comes out. So depending on when this is up... I think that you guys might know whether Aquaman's POI is at that place or not. Actually, no, you won't. Never mind. Never mind, because the water still has to come down and reveal it. Alright, guys, so I don't know. I don't think Aquaman's gonna have a place yet. I think Aquaman's gonna have a place later on in the season, and that's gonna be really, really cool. I'm very happy for that. The new update will be coming soon, 13.30, I believe. So, that that's there's gonna be a video on that very soon when that comes out. Probably the day of, this, the, day of the update. Uh, can't wait to make that video because there's going to be a lot of skin leaks and a lot of cosmetic leaks and all that stuff. I do have another theory, but I'm not going to share it in this video since we are nearing the time limit of my videos. I usually don't like to go over 11 minutes and I don't want, I want to make sure that this video is nice, short, and simple and to the point for you guys. And if you guys made it this far, make sure to type in code TLL the Reaper in the Fortnite item shop to support me. You guys are awesome. You guys are really supporting me, and I love it. We have over 200 uh, supporters. If we can reach 300, then I will be very, very happy, and I will make another one of these community theory videos. So if we can reach 300 supporters, I'll keep you guys in the know. If we can reach 300, I will make another one of these theory videos. So type that code in the item shop when you're buying things. Thank you, guys. And back to the video. So the Fancy Leviathan on Twitter, at FancyLevy underscore, Go follow them, guys. They have amazing theories. They really do, and they they always post some really interesting concepts. Make sure to go follow them. And I'm actually going to be covering another one of their theories in a future video. It's a pretty interesting theory, and I do not claim this one at all. This was 100% all them. I just want to discuss it for you guys so you guys know what this is. They have a really good theory. I really like it. If you guys want to know what it is ahead of time, go follow them. And even if you don't want to know what it is ahead of time, go follow them. Thank you guys for watching. Follow me on Twitter also at, at the Raging Reaper. I also post some things. If I haven't made a video, then I have some Twitter posts that you guys can read. So when the new update comes out, I'll tweet about that stuff. So if you guys want to know everything about the new update and stuff before I make a video on it, make sure to follow my Twitter so you guys can get all of that stuff. We've also reached over 1.5k, guys. We're halfway to 2,000 subscribers. I can't thank you all enough. You guys are really insane with the support. I think we're really climbing and we might be able to reach 2,000 by the end of summer. That would be crazy. Um, I think this is the end of the video, I believe. I think I've covered everything I wanted to cover. 
thank you all for watching. You guys are awesome. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Until next time, keep it reaping.